Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to True Sound Studios. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my eight mic stand hacks. And these are things that I've just kind of come up with. They're discovered over the last, I don't know, how many years I've been doing this. And I just wanna share it with you guys today. So some of these hacks are gonna require you to go out and buy a few things. Other ones are just uh, bringing up certain products that you know will adapt something to something else. But either way, let's check out my eight mic stand hacks. Okay, so let's check out mic stand hack number one. So if you guys have ever been in this situation where you have a heavy condenser microphone on a boom arm and it just won't stay up, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. So first I'm gonna get some quarter inch threaded rod. I'm gonna cut it to about 14 inches long. I'm just using a portable bandsaw to cut that. And then I wanna take that rough end that I just cut and just grind it down just to make it smoother. Also, it's easier to get these, these nuts on here. I'm gonna put a nut on each end of this threaded rod. What I wanna do is I wanna bend about the last inch and a half of each end of it to about a 45 degree angle so that it makes up a nice 90 degree angle. And this is what we're gonna use to support it. These are electrical ground clamps, and these will tighten down on the mic stand and the boom arm. This one, I put shrink, uh, shrink tube around it, and that allows it just to not to damage the mic stand in case you wanna do that. And then I'll just show you quickly, this is how the threaded rod will attach to these ground clamps. So now I'm gonna take one electrical ground clamp, I'm gonna place on the boom arm, the other on the boom pole, and this is how they go on. They just kind of like articulate over the pole and then you just tighten down each side of the bolts to clamp it onto there. And then this is the threaded rod going into that, that ground clamp. And then I have the second ground clamp on the boom arm. And you can see once again, it's gonna tighten up both sides of those bolts on that ground clamp. And now that those are tight, I can tighten the center screw that is holding the threaded rod into place. And now the threaded rod with these electrical clamps is what is taking the weight instead of putting it on the mic boom arm that is where you tighten and loosen it. Now all that weight is taken up by this threaded rod. Now, if you wanna do some slight adjustments, you can actually use that nut that we put on the threaded rod you can tighten or loosen it to change the angle slightly. All you have to do is just loosen up that center screw and then adjust that nut and then you can change the angle. And this is just a really nice way to kind of fine tune the, uh, the mic stand to be exactly where you want. Okay, so now we have mic stand hack number two. Now this one is if you have a single mic stand and you wanna have two different arms off of one stand. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this using a drum multi-clamp. So this is the drum multi-clamp that I have. It is just very similar to that electrical ground clamp, except this is gonna hold a lot more weight, obviously meant for drums, clamping, toms, or whatever to cymbal stands. So you're gonna place one of the mic stand clamps onto the actual mic stand pole, and then by using both of the nuts on the clamp, you can go ahead and just tighten this up. Now we need to get our second little mic stand arm from somewhere. In this case, I am using one of these small floor standing mic stands and just unscrewing it from its base. And then I'm also unscrewing the washer that is on there so we can use this as our mic stand arm. And then I've added a microphone onto there and then just simply using the other clamp, I'm just gonna tighten it up so this is a great way to use one mic stand, especially when you're in certain situations where you don't have much room and have two different mic stand arms on the one stand. So if you guys are enjoying this video, please click that like button. Okay, on to mic stand hack number three. So this one, we're gonna use a cymbal stand and a mic stand to make one heavy duty mic stand. So first, on my mic stand, you actually have to need to cut off the bell end to be able to slide the base off of your mic stand. Now this is just a cheap mic stand, but I am gonna use this one. And then I'm gonna take the pole out of my cymbal stand and just get rid of that for now. And then you can just simply place the mic stand into the cymbal stand in order to make this really what is a very heavy duty mic stand. 
So now here's another one of these heavy duty mic stands that I've made. This one has a much more heavy duty cymbal stand that I painted black. And then I have this really big uh, mic stand pole and boom arm on there. And this one I use a lot of the times for room mics or overheads where I just need to get mics really high up in the air. But because the bass is so heavy, this works out really well. Okay, so finding the right diameter of that, that mic stand pole and the cymbal stand diameter, that's definitely the trickiest part of it. I'm a drummer and I have probably 20 different cymbal stands and only like three of them actually will fit a mic stand into them. So don't just show up to a music store and expect to, you know, buy a mic stand and a cymbal stand in it to work out. Okay, so now we have mic stand hack number four. Now, this is what is called a mic stand flange mount. And this allows you to mount a mic stand adapter like this really to anywhere. And you can see this is the exact same threads as a mic clip or as a, as a boom arm, whatever you decide to put on here. And just for example, I'm, I'm mounting this flange to my wall in the studio so that I can actually mount a microphone right off the wall. And now I'm threading in one of these gooseneck adapters and then just threading on a mic stand clip and microphone. And now I can really put a mic anywhere I want without the use of a stand. Now I would recommend that it does come with, you know, at least three holes. Make sure you put all three screws in there. This is just a demonstration. Okay, and now we're off to mic stand hack number five. So I made this little mic stand base. This is a T bracket with three little nylon spacers and three little felt pads to make this very small, very low to the ground little mic stand base. Now I'm using a quarter 20 bolt. Now this just needs to fit into the other things you'll see later on, but this is gonna go through the bottom of this little T bracket. Then we need a nylon spacer, and then this spacer needs to have a hole big enough to fit over that small little black bolt. And then we're gonna grab our quarter 20 adapter and our European adapter. Now this European adapter right here has a 3 8 thread on the inside and 5 8 on the outside. And then that's gonna screw into this small little quarter 20 adapter. This is a 3 8 to quarter inch adapter. And if we screw the two of them together, you can go ahead and thread that right over that black bolt and then just tighten them all up. And now we can grab our mic clip and then screw this onto here and then just tighten it down nicely. And now we have this very small little mic stand, which is great for, you know, tabletop recordings or when you need to put a mic essentially on the ground or using measurement microphones like this. It's also a really great way to use a talkback microphone in your control room. So if you guys like content like this and you wanna see more, consider subscribing. Okay, and now for mic stand hack number six. So this is one of these floor standing mic stands with this weighted base on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the mic stand from the base. And then I'm also gonna take off this washer. And then now I'm gonna grab my weight. This is a two and a half pound weight that I just grabbed at a local store. And I painted the top side of it black just so it looked like it fit in with the mic stand a little bit more, but I'm just placing it through the mic stand base pole. I'm gonna thread back on that washer and then now just very carefully gonna thread back on the mic stand to the base, just making sure I don't cross thread it. And now you have a very, very heavy mic stand which can handle some very heavy microphones. Okay, moving on to mic stand hack number seven. So this is a mic stand to 3 8 inch adapter. You can see on the bottom here, this is a standard mic stand threads. And at the top is a 3 8 thread. And this is really great for camera or photo gear. You can see here, I just have a normal tripod mic stand, but I'm gonna go ahead and thread on this adapter. And then I can grab my filming head. So this is a tripod head. This allows you to do pan and tilt and stuff like that. And at the very bottom of it, it has a 3 8 inch thread. So now I can go ahead and thread this onto here and then tighten it up. 
that I can grab my DSLR camera and I can turn any one of my mic stands into a, a stand for my camera, for my camera gear, my photo gear, whatever it is. This is a really great way to make the mic stands even more useful. Okay, so the last one is the mic stand hack number eight. And this is really just something that I think maybe everybody should know about. This is just a standard mic stand with a heavy base on here. And I've noticed that all of the camera lights all fit over the mic stand poles, it's the standard poles. So you can take a light like this, like a ring light. You can take the big uh, lights with the large diffusers. They all fit onto, they all have the same size mount and they will mount to any of your mic stands. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is obviously a collection of a whole bunch of different things. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please look for all of these things that I mentioned in the video in the description box down below. I put links to everything. Yes, they are Amazon affiliate links, just so you know. All right guys, so as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to find True Sound Studios on Instagram. I post there every single day. But till the next video, I'll see you guys then.